Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. If you happen to be new around here, my name is Trevor and this is Anna. We are the Delightful Travelers. Make sure to click the subscribe button and that little bell to follow along on our adventures. In this week's video, we have teamed up with Tourism Nova Scotia. We are in Katamagush and we'll be exploring the Northumberland Shore. Did you notice where we are and what's behind me? We are at the train station in, which is in Katamagush. We were here a few months ago, which some people might recall, but we were just outside. I don't even think it had opened up for the season, but today, we're actually staying here, so you're gonna get the full and complete tour. This place is easily one of the most unique accommodations in all of the province of Nova Scotia. I mean, look how colorful all these trains are. There are close to, I'd say, a dozen cars. It's really, really fascinating. Uh, I see Anna back there taking some photos. I mean, you have to take photos here. Yes, I am taking some photos, and yes, for Instagram. If you guys are not following us there, you should be. For one, we post lots of photos, and two, we do stories, so you can see what we're doing pretty much up to date, whereas YouTube videos come out a little bit later. So, uh, what are you doing up there? <laughs> what are you doing down there? <laughs> Alright, I'm coming up, I'm coming up. Check this out, guys. So, of course, we can go right into the train. Yeah, so this is like the lounge train, I guess. It's like a shared space. So shared space, huh? Yeah, but come through, it's so cool. Just look at all this woodwork. Wow. wow. This is amazing. If this is not a throwback in time, I don't know what is. I know. Is this what it would feel like to ride in a train in the early 1900s? So beautiful. So right now we are in the Governor General's car and like I said, this is a throwback in time with all the detail, the etchings, even the curtains and the colors in yeah, general. it's really amazing. I think each of the different cars is from a different era, different time. He bought them from different parts of the country, I think, yeah. and shipped them here. It's really interesting. The history is super cool. Obviously, we can't get into all of it now, no. but if you're coming here, definitely ask for a tour. Yes. Find out a little bit about it because the entire history is super interesting. Can you imagine how much is involved with shipping trains here? I know. <laughs> so we've We've come over to the train station itself and this is a very special place. It is over 100 years old. I mean, just look at this place. Can't get over it. Yeah, there's a bar here. There's a cafe because you can come and get your coffee. I think they have some snacks there as well. It's also a super unique gift shop. Definitely, even if you're not staying here, definitely yeah. worth coming and just checking it out because they got some cool little things inside. If you're coming to Tatamagush in general, you have to come here. This is so unique for the size of the town itself or the village. Tatamagush is small, but there's a lot here that you can do. Mm -hmm. This place is extra special. Yeah. So this is going to be our caboose for the night. It's called Boxcar Jane. We did arrive a little bit early though, so it's not quite check-in time. So why don't we head into Tatamagush and check out what's there. So we have come over to a place called the Chowder House. There are so many food options in Tatamagush. It is unbelievable. Now take a look at what I got here. Or inside here, I think there's some uh, haddock. There is some shrimp, and I believe there's also some scallops. And you never know what you're gonna get on a bite. So we heard this is the spot to go. Let's try it out. Oh. Oh, it's delicious. Oh. It's really hot today. So honestly, this is like comfort food. It's probably, normally I wouldn't eat this in the summer, but I had to try it here. It's so creamy and rich and full of flavor. It was packed when we got here, so keep that in mind if you're going to come. But all the different chunks of fish, look at that. That is a big old shrimp. I'm gonna go for it and just see how good that is. Mm. Perfection, perfection. So I went for the non-fish option. They do have a corn chowder on the menu. They actually have a fairly big menu, but it is the chowder house, so I wanted to try a chowder as well. It's got like, big, uh, obviously some corn in there. It looks like onion, potatoes, carrots. Thick, thick, thick chowder like Trevor's is as well. Oh wow, look at that. Just gorgeous. Pretty much like Trevor said, maybe not the most perfect day for chowder because it is pretty hot, but wow, it's so good, so thick, so creamy, 
It's really, really delicious. All right, Anna sold me on the corn chowder. It's usually my go-to. I just have to try it, especially on camera, just to compare. Mm. Oh yeah. So, very similar, of course, not as fishy, but mm. I often get corn chowder around the province, and I will tell you, this is one of the better ones I've had in the province. If you're coming here, make sure to try it. One really great thing about Tatamagush, other than the fact that it's pretty small, so it's very easy to get from place to place, is that they're big on supporting local. So, you know, we just went to the chowder house, lots of local fish, there's a farmer's market on Saturdays. There's a few other things that we're gonna go see in a few minutes, but right behind us is a locally made chocolate shop. And, you can't see it, but it says, it's a good day to have some chocolate. Always a good day. So we've come inside Appleton Chocolates. We lucked out because Michael, the owner, is here today. So he's going to tell us a little bit about, I guess, the chocolate making process. Yeah, the, the truffles that we make are uh, a one-of-a-kind, unique to the world, uh, maple and wild blueberry truffles. We've been making them now for over 24 years. Oh, wow. So since 1997 we started. And uh, we use only locally, in, uh, locally produced and locally sourced products for all of our ingredients. Um, and we try and make everything by hand, so it's a little over four days per flavor per truffle. Uh, and there's 13 different varieties of them. We ship them all over the world. And we do solid chocolate and chocolate bars and bark and chocolate caramels and peppermint wow. stuff. We actually bought a couple, so we'll try it. I know, it was very hard to pick. I know. <laughs> when you hear how much work goes into making this little ball of chocolate, doesn't it make you appreciate it even more? So this one is maple blueberry covered in dark chocolate. Oh my, and it smells so good inside, so let's just give this one a try. Mmm. Oh, what a surprise inside. Look at that. Mmm. You can actually see the little chunks of blueberry, and I can taste that maple, and of course, the dark chocolate. I think they said it takes a few, like a few days to make this little guy. Oh. I actually didn't expect this to taste as good as it does. Wow, I am very, very impressed with this. The second chocolate we got today is a maple cherry, also in dark chocolate, the same as the last one, but the cherry is the different part of this. Mm. Wow. Mmm, <laughs> that is supremely delicious. If you are one of those people that do not like cherry chocolates, you probably still like this. It's not too cherry flavored. It's a very well balanced between the maple and the cherry. It's mm. good. Mm. Can I just point out how nice this building is behind you? It's really pretty. I mean, it's their building, but look yeah. at the colors. Yeah, <laughs> it's a super cute village. I was going to say town, but village. Very, very cute. All right, it's official. The chocolate has made us extremely thirsty. I mean, I need a drink. Do yeah, you? Yeah, so what should we do about that? Well, it just so happens you guys hear us talk about craft beer quite often. Our favorite brewery, or one of our favorite breweries in all of Nova Scotia, happens to be right here in Tadmogish. What's it called? It's actually called Tatamagush Brewing. So we've been to Tatamagush a few times now. One thing we always try to do is stop in here to our favorite brewery. We just love this place. It's been around for quite a few years now. We ended up getting a flight of beer. You get six. The first one I'm going to try is called, now I don't know how to pronounce it, maybe you guys can help me out here. It's spelled like H-E-L-L-E-S, like Hells, but I think it's Helles. It's a German style, kind of like a lager. Uh, let's give it a try. It's really hot out today. It's close to 30 degrees. Mm. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like a lager mixed with a pilsner. Nice and refreshing. I'll tell you, one of the things that we absolutely love about since we were stuck at home, and if you're new around here and you don't know our whole story, we're usually traveling the world. And when COVID happened back in 2020, we got stuck away for quite a long time. We were stuck in the Philippines for four months. We filmed it all. You can go watch that. But now we're discovering our own backyard like everyone else here in Nova Scotia. So just to expand on that a little bit, we're from Nova Scotia. We both grew up here, have lived here our whole lives. But like Trevor said, we travel or we typically would travel for months and months at a time and then we come home for a few months and then travel again. So really when we came home before it was just to like visit our families, catch up on things, just kind of get our lives in order, go to the, all the our appointments we had to do, you know, that kind of thing. We never really properly explored Nova Scotia. So I guess being stuck here has kind of been like a bit of a blessing in disguise. Nova Scotia is really the best place to be stuck. It's the most beautiful spot. We've discovered so much. It's been really honestly amazing. So it's a little bit later. We are now back at the train station in and our room is ready so we'll give you a tour in just a minute. But before we do that, can we talk about the stuff that's outside at the moment? There's all these, I'm not even sure what to call them. I guess 
train historical items? <laughs> I would say that's a good way to uh, describe it. But take a look at the outside of our car. This is Jane. And the first thing I noticed is take a look at the patio. Did you even notice this? I didn't really. There's wheels that hold up the patio. Look. So this is some of the little details that I just find fascinating about this place. Do you see this? This is where we're going to come and have another Tatamagush beer. Have to go there. And there's a hammock right over there. Right now it's about six o'clock in the summer and you see the light coming in. It's very picturesque, but I know what you really want to see. Let's go see the inside. Come on inside for a tour. We actually have an entire living room area. It's not just one big room here. It's actually separated out. Looks super cozy. Can you believe this is actually a train? <laughs> so I crazy. can't get over it. And there is air conditioning. Yeah. I know a lot of people will wonder that. It's a hot, hot day today, so this feels really, really good. This place is so big, and like Anna said, I can't believe that this is a train. So now we're in the kitchen, and it's going to give us a little tour. So this is a kitchenette. We've got some dishes and things up here, a fridge, very important. Also a microwave, and even more important, there is a coffee maker. I think we'll be making some coffee soon because <laughs> we missed our afternoon coffee today. So I don't know if every car is like this, but in this one, we walk through the bathroom to get to the bedroom. But can we just talk about the size of this bathroom for a second? So over on one side of the bathroom, you've got the shower and the toilet. And then on the other side, you have basically the cutest sink that ever existed. And here we have the bedroom. And again, pay attention to the details in this place. There's lots of photos of the train station in general, and then lots of other little things that will catch your eye. And take a look at the pillowcases. Really like those pillowcases. The last thing I'll show you, if you follow me in here to the closet, <laughs> there is a storage area. So if you think there's not enough space, this can fit a lot of luggage. You can hear the echo. <laughs> so it's a very big spot. So we have our coffee in hand. How is it? Mm. Smells good. It's good. We needed this caffeine as we said. Thankfully, they have it here at the train station in. <laughs> so now we're going to unpack. We still didn't do that yet. We've been out exploring the town and then we're just probably going to wind down and have a relaxing evening because yeah. we did a lot. Yeah, it's been a busy day. So I think we're just going to like chill out, enjoy our coffee, maybe have some wine or some beer later and some food and yeah. just kind of relax for the evening. So we're going to pick you guys back up in the morning. All right, I will confess. It is not the next morning at all, it's now the afternoon. But we have come over to Yoast Vineyards. If you've been following us for a couple of months now, you might remember we were here, I think it was like April, but April. of course it wasn't summertime. <laughs> there weren't grapes on the vine. No. There weren't many people here, it was pretty quiet. So it, it's great to be back. It did not look like this at all. Now it is so green. There are so many vines here. I didn't even realize it the last time we were here. So if you watched last week's video, you might recall that we were on a wine tour in the Annapolis Valley. Of course, this is a different winery in a different region. I think this is actually maybe the original winery yes. in Nova Scotia. Yeah, now here's the thing. We've gotten so many messages from you guys saying, I can't believe you have this wine in Nova Scotia. It's not even just the one area. There are other regions with this, but if you're coming to the North Shore, you wanna come to Yoast. It's a must visit place. I mean, just take a look around and see what we're looking at. There's so many vines, as I said previously, we just might have to get the drone in the air so you guys can see more. That's quite the place, right? It's <laughs> The grounds here are pretty spectacular, but there's a lot more that you can do here besides look at the vines. Well, you could also <laughs> taste wine, so we might do that. You can also grab some lunch, so maybe we'll do that as Good well. Idea. And check out the inside and the outside and yeah. Let's do it. So for those of you that have watched our video in the past on this place, you might recall just how beautiful the inside is. There's a big barrel bar here, which is my favorite feature. And just in general, the space. Ceilings are high, the space is fantastic. So because it's so nice out today, we're going to eat and sit outside. This is called Sea Grape Cafe. Of course, this wasn't open when we were here last time because it was pretty chilly outside. <laughs> uh, we also starting with, of course, some wine. This is a, a new product of theirs. It's called Luvo. It comes in a can and this is Muscat. 
and mint. Ooh, and look Ooh. at the color of that. Isn't it lovely? Yeah. It's like a, a rosé blush kind of color. Hmm. Mm, wow. It smells amazing. <laughs> very, very fruity. Ooh, wow. That's really nice. I know we tried a muscat in the last video at Gaspro, which is their sister vineyard. Uh, and it has the same sort of like dryness to it. You expect it based on that nose to be very, very sweet, but it's not at all. It's quite dry. And then it has just that tiny, tiny, tiny little hint of mint. It's super nice on a day like this. Lunch has arrived. Look at these. These are adorable little lobster sliders. Now, I think what's on here is some uh, lemon tarragon aioli. And the lobster is lobster here from the Northumberland Strait, so it's local lobster. And there's a lot of lobster on this. It's loaded for a little tiny sandwich, but let's go. Oh, that's heaven on a little tiny bun. Look at that guy. Mm. Oh, they really don't hold back on the lobster at all. There are chunks of lobster all throughout this burger. And it's gooey. The bread is nice and soft and pillowy. What a sandwich, and I got two of these. Hmm. Not gonna save Anna any, because this is way, way too good. So I went for the highly recommended pizza. This one has pear, prosciutto, blue cheese, mozzarella, and then barbecue sauce. Mm. It's also paired with a red wine. It smells divine. Mm -hmm. To some people, this combo might sound really weird, especially like pears on pizza, fruit on pizza. It goes well, so well together. A little bit of sweetness from the pear, with like the saltiness of the prosciutto, it like contrasts really, really nicely. Sharpness of the blue cheese, the barbecue sauce, oh, this is so good. All right, well, we are now back at the train station and we're taking in this last evening of this beautiful, tranquil place. What can you say about this train station? No, it's so cool, it's so unique. It's definitely a must visit in Nova Scotia. We hear a rumor there's some live music tonight, so yes. we're gonna end things here so we can go enjoy that. Maybe have a dining room car <laughs> takeout meal. We'll probably um, film a little of the music on our Instagram stories if you wanna check that out, follow us there. A big thank you to Tourism Nova Scotia for setting all this up and sending us out here to the North, North Shore. We've been having such a great time and just big thanks for all the support from them. Yeah, and if you want to support us, we do have a Patreon account. We will link that yeah. below. We also have a join button, which is right down there. Yeah, it's for as little as 99 cents if you're interested so in supporting the channel. Merchandise. <laughs> 99 cents a month, but uh, yeah, we have shirts, lots of merch actually, if you wanna, if you're into that. So we'll put links to that. If not, no worries. We'll be here every week filming a video. All right, guys, that's it. From Tatamagush, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.